Hello and welcome to this Autopipe training for creation of stress isometrics in Autopipe. First, let's introduce what a stress isometric is. A stress isometric is used by engineers as a visual record of the pipe stress analysis model and summary of the design information used to model a safe piping system. This process provides an electronic workflow and exchange of engineering information in a common recognizable file format between any plant 3D CAD software and the computer-aided engineering analysis with the CAD designer, a consultant, a structural engineer, or an equipment manufacturer. The customizable stress isometric plot is created using Open Plant Isometrics Manager, which will be referred to as OPIM, and shows a fully dimensioned isometric plot and tables of important summary design data, including model information, pipe properties, valve and flange data, maximum stresses, design support data, design spring and constant hanger data, and design load data for vessels, structures, and equipment. The ability to generate stress isometric drawings is available in Autopipe Advanced and Autopipe Nuclear Editions. The license for OPIM is included with Autopipe Advanced or Nuclear. But be sure to open OPIM from Autopipe to not be charged for a license of OPIM itself. The icons and the ribbons are shown here to open OPIM and the recently created isometrics. This icon group is found on the file ribbon tab in Autopipe. The user can save a stress isometric, which will display the save stress isometric dialog. Pick your file name and file type preference. Autopipe supports the export of piping isometric drawings in multiple file formats, including DGN stress isometric, which will generate an intelligent 3D DGN file, which can be edited using Open Plant Isometrics Manager before publishing a 2D isometric drawing, a DWG stress isometric file, which will generate a 2D flat DWG isometric drawing, a DXF stress isometric file, which will generate a 2D flat DXF isometric drawing, and a 2D DGN stress isometric file, which will generate a 2D flat DGN isometric drawing. The generated file, which can be opened automatically into either Open Plant Isometrics Manager, MicroStation, Redline, AutoCAD, or any other third-party program for review and markup. The input data and stress analysis results from Autopipe are exported in an APT file. Autopipe reads the geometry data from the AP ISO file and stress data from the APT file. The AP ISO file contains intelligent data attached to components as well. This intelligent data is reported in the context of drawing if it's selected to be reported. And an inline file, the .loo file, is generated from the AP ISO and APT files, which is directed to the OPIM ISO extractor for generating the isometrics. We really don't support modifying these. I only bring them up for information purposes. This brings up a good point that when you need to share your model in Autopipe, you should create an archive file or an APC file, which is accessed via the save as command. This archive file collects all of the files needed to run the model and stress isometric files, and it creates a single file to share instead of the large number of files that Autopipe uses. In the past, it was helpful to modify the stress ISO settings file or the INI file to turn on or off some features, but now all of the feature switches are in the dialogs for a GUI. This dialog shows the path and file name to the INI file, Please note that any setting file from an Autopipe version older than version 9.62 will not be compatible with newer versions. If you, were to break, if you were to browse and select another valid INI file, then this file would be read and option settings would be updated for both the plot and the table tabs. If you want to share these stress isometric settings with any of your colleagues, then you would need to share the stress iso.ini file as well as the style.xml file from the locations shown here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.